Hey friends, Katrina from Different Drummer Dance here. And guess what time of year it is? It is competition season, plus getting ready for auditions. Maybe cast lists are going up for you or your dancers. Maybe you're doing a ton of auditions or maybe you're a choreographer and you're trying to get your creative juices flowing for new work and it just feels really hard. I get it. So today I want to share with you both a personal story about an audition that I did that went terribly wrong. And I want to share with you the number one thing that I use and that I tell my students to use when it comes to competition mindset. So are you ready? Let's dive in. So like I said, it's competition season, whether that means that you have dancers who are competing or maybe you are a judge or maybe you are a choreographer, maybe you're a dancer who's getting ready to go into competitions or you're getting ready to do auditions or the cast list is going up soon. All of these things can make us feel really nervous, right? I know this, I've been in those shoes many, many times. And before I tell you how I deal with it in a healthy and positive way now, I want to share with you a time when I did not handle it so well and what I used, what mindset shift I used to turn it all around and really transform it, not only for myself as a dancer to help my own professional dance career, but to help the students that I work with now. So here's the deal. I was a young dancer getting ready to go on the audition circuit for college dance programs. I was super hyped up. I was ready to go. I was motivated. I felt like I had done a ton of work and I was confident in my abilities and I felt like I was the shit basically. So I had one college dance program that I really had my sights set on and that was UC Santa Barbara. So I went and did the audition and I felt like I nailed it. Like there were definitely a lot of people there. It was a total cattle call audition like many college dance programs are. Um, but I felt like I did a really good job. I was happy with myself, happy with how I performed. And I felt really confident that I was going to get an acceptance letter to the dance college program. Well, guess what? <laughs> a few weeks go by and I get my letter from UC Santa Barbara and I did not get accepted. I was crushed. I was so heartbroken broken, and thought that this was just the end of my dance career as I knew it. There was no way that I wanted to go to any other college program and this is what I had my heart set on and they didn't want me and I must be a terrible dancer and how could I be so horrible? Why didn't they want me? You know the thought spiral, right? When you get in that frame of mind. So I specifically remember just like totally losing it, like crying all night, went to my bed, went to my bedroom, wouldn't have any dinner, totally dramatic. And the next day I pulled myself together and I had a teacher tell me, she was like, yeah, I get it. That's really disappointing. I've been in your shoes, but here's the thing about competition. And here's the thing about setting goals, especially when they don't go the way that you want them to see your competition, see that goal as an indicator of where you're going and where you want to go rather than being an indicator that you are failing or that you're never going to measure up. And this just turned my mindset around like, 180 degrees, I was able to get out of that really negative headspace of thinking that I wasn't enough. Lack mindset is something that affects dancers so much and just artists so much. We we think we're never going to be enough. We're never going to be as good as this person. We'll never measure up. It doesn't matter how hard we work or what we try. And we get stuck in this lack, in this comparison. And it's really hard to get out of that. And it's really hard to motivate yourself to do better when you're in that mindset. So this shift totally changed it around for me. So instead of seeing my competition, and I apply it to competition because it works really well there, instead of seeing your competition as something that you are never going to get to, or you're going to have to strive and work so hard to get, see if you can see it as a goalpost for where you're going. Yeah, she's really, really great. I'm going to get there soon. I want to be there someday. That's what I'm aiming for. Instead of it being a, I'm never going to get there. She's so much better than I am. And you can use this mindset shift, again, whether you're a dancer, you're going into competition season, auditions, or maybe you're a teacher, an educator, a choreographer, we all get stuck in comparison mindset. So give it a try. See if it works for you. I hope it helps. Let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe.